Hi guys, it's Tom00123 with another commentary for you guys. Um, today, special one. Um, a big shout out to my friend Tricky. Um, he found a cheetah. Another cheetah. We're going to find him now for you, straight away. Looking for the, uh, the top prestige guy, I believe. Yep, here you go. Straight to the back. This is the guy, obviously, he's going to be the one that's doing all the, all the dying. We've pulled forward. So let's scroll through now till we find the guy we're looking for. Hard point locked down. I believe it's this guy. You can see here he's setting up his end, and the other guy here is just waiting nice and happily for him to be all set up. And I'm pretty sure he goes under under the boat or something like that. Oh, no, a bit more adventurous this time. But this episode is basically to you know give you an insight into the into the psychology of cheaters. Now we're going to discuss some issues that they may have had when they were children. You know, maybe they were dropped on their head. Maybe they weren't given all the things in life that they wanted. Maybe their parents were pushy. They wanted to be doctors or something like that. We don't know. It's a mysterious thing, the psychology of this stuff. Um, but we're going to try everything in our power to help them, get them the help they require, they need, they want. It's obviously a cry for help. Okay? I mean, no one in their right mind would sit in a corner for five days playtime and just do this. No one. No one in their right mind would do that. So, and of course, if you guys, if you guys have come across anyone on PS3 or Xbox or on PC that like to boost as well, or lobby of boosters, we're looking for people like that. We're trying to get in with those sort of people to to try and expose the ring, as it were, a ring of cheaters that are cloud in our, our awesome community. Um, but anyway, back to the psychology, I think, like I said, dating back from children, they've had issues, they've had parental issues, so now they've come into real life, you know, they've, they've hit school now, they've hit puberty, uh, they've run into a few issues, it turns out that you actually need some boost stuff to get through life. Now, they've failed their exams, their SATs, their GCSEs, their A-levels, and they think, right, I'm going to get into a crap job like McDonald's or something like that, get a PS3 and exact my retribution on the world through the medium of Call of Duty. So now they've got their console, they've got their little, uh, oh, here you go, yeah, he's found his friend, finally found his friend. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The Phoenix underscore seven. Waypoint out. And let the fun begin. See, right, now, right here, right now, you see, because he's aiming for the head, I think this is a direct attack on the community. You know, this is the community right here. This is not a person, this is not a friend. This person he's shooting in the head is a metaphor. This is his retribution against the against everything that's gone wrong for him. Stitch him up. See, yeah. Not much else to say, really. It's just. It's just terrible, isn't Shut it? Out. It's distressing. And to think that Lane people do this, sir. and then people copy their accounts for other people, so they've got all the weapons, all the, all the perks, all the score streaks, and everything like that, all the characters. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why Treyarch even bothered to include the tax list search, not to know all the issues it caused. On previous Call of Duties, after all the hate it's incurred, after they know boosters boost with it, after they know the, the method things, why, Treyarch? I'm asking you directly now, why? Look, this is a domination game, or, or a hard point game, or, or a or whatever. And look, they're not even going for the objectives, now they're leaving five people on each side to do the majority of the work. They're a man down, or these guys just boost. And the annoying thing is, more than anything, is the fact he gets swarmed. You know, it's it's crazy how they did get a headshot from swarm kill with their The way as well the, the kill streaks were, I mean, in this in normal gameplay it's fine. You reach the UAV, your points stay, and then you get a care package, they stay, and then all the time it moves on and on and on until you get to like a lightning strike or something like that. But these people, they just bolt, they go straight through the kill streaks. I'm not even worried about anyone, you know, coming looking for them because they're in such a weird spot in the map. Link tacking, sir. Stitch them up. Probably think they're AFK or something like that. Link sir. Got a kill. They've made the tactical insertion even easier to hide as well because I think on Black Ops One it was a flare, and it was or Modern Warfare Two or Modern Warfare Three it was a flare. I think it was one of those two, and it was really easy to spot. Them. It was fairly obvious what they were doing, um, especially if you've got engineer on, you can see that's it, the walls, but you can see here, allies spawn, uh, spawning on the... <laughs> that's what you get, bitch, that's what you get. It's karma right there. So now you see, you've been interrupted, you'll probably, you see here, he gets one more kill, and then 
he just leaves. He knows he's, 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 done, he's done his bit. He's left. His friend's probably already left the game. Another, another common thing as well with boosters is that you can see here it's just finished. I was going to finish what I'm going to say is that a lot of boosters they have several accounts lined up for it. So now that guy is probably let. Usually, if he was still doing as well as he was without the load star, the other die he was headshotting would leave. Then another die would join, or he has another account lined up ready to join straight away. And then it looks like, in inverted commas, looks like he's not actually boosting. Um, so when it comes to reporting, they'll just say, "Oh, that guy had a really bad game. You know, he went he went for 16 deaths and he left. So if someone else joined, they started doing really badly. But unless you actually send them the video, I don't think they can actually spot it as easily." Um, but anyway, thanks guys, that's been me. Um, that's uh, a, a small insight into the world of boosters. Um, if you guys have any um, videos of boosters or cheaters that you've caught or got into a hack lobby or anything like that, please do send send me a link to your YouTube channel or send me the file and I can post it for you. You'll get full coverage on our channel. And a massive shout out to uh, to Cookie who's given me this one to, to commentate on. Um, our montage is out. It's been out for a couple of days now. It's doing alright. It's got about 60 views in a in a day and a half so we're looking to push that past the 100 mark before the weekend um, any comments or any um, games that you'd like us to play in the future uh, please just uh, drop us a sub and uh, drop us a like alright that's me I'm out bye